All right, Onique, what's going on? You know that's too damn long to be. Come on, I'm like, I don't want to do this. All right, how old are you again, 20, 29? No, I'm 36. 36, okay. I, 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 I talk to a lot of people. Okay, 36, what's going on with you? Okay, so basically, I've never even, I always wanted to get married, but just being serious with someone, um, I don't know, maybe till like about 32, I just didn't think about it. I just was just still having fun. Okay. And what, is it, what, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, Just dating, casually dating people, not necessarily having sex with them. Okay. But of course, everyone wants to have sex. Yeah. So it's like, it's like I'm playing football and I'm trying to pass the goal without doing it in a way sometimes. So, you know, you're robbing, so you're robbing me. Uh, a little. Not a little. This, this, I, mean, it, I mean, this is where you ladies got to start. See, what men want to hear from y'all is the truth. Yeah. Well, I, I'm giving it to you. Well, because you know you want a man to spend his time, attention, resources on you, and the whole deal is sex. Mm -hmm. How would you feel if on payday they played football with your ass? No, okay, look it. This is what I'm saying. But guys that you're just dating, you know, I don't want to, I'd want to say after I go on a few dates with you, then, you know, I might want to have sex with you, but I just don't want to have sex with you. Huh? Bullshit. 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 I, you're a grown mean, woman. You're a grown woman. Okay, okay we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be honest. We're gonna be honest. We're gonna be honest. We're gonna be you're a grown woman. Mm -hmm. You're not a virgin. And you and I both know that a woman makes up her mind whether or not she wants to have sex with a man. You know if you're gonna have sex with him or not. Okay, maybe hold on, stay after hold on, the hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, no, no, okay, no, 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 no. It doesn't play over here. You're, you're 36. You're not 22. This part, and see, you're not listening. This is why men are walking away from marrying and dealing with you all because you're not honest. Mm -hmm. There are men you have, you have slept with and didn't require three or four or five dates. All right, then that's the bottom line. That's the base price. And to men, it's like, if he can get it for this price, why do I have to do all this? That's why I say, Ladies, do not go out on date number one with a man that you are not sexually attracted to. Do not go on date number one. Don't go out there talking about our date to see if I like you. French toast that. Keep your ass at home. Don't take his money. Ask all the questions you need to do. Because if you go out with us, we're expected to smash. <laughs> okay, look it. I'm going to give you an example. I have dated and dealt with people that I didn't actually were attracted to them when I first met them. But as I got to know them, I did become attracted to them. So that can happen too. You know, this I is what women do. They play games with the possibility of sex. The guys you went out with, were you paying all the bills? Were you paying for everything? 100%? No. No. Then it's bullshit. It's bullshit. I mean, you said this. Not, well, not saying that I expect for them to pay all the time because I'm a nice girl. I'm from California. You know, we're. It has nothing not to do with being there. It's not. No. Look. Did you grow up with your father? My dad. My father died when I was um, 11 years old. Well, you should have heard this somewhere in your life. Don't accept nothing from a man that you don't expect to do something for. Yeah. So what but you're you talking about, what, okay. no, what you're talking about, no, see, okay. see, this is why so many women in your age range are going to be destined to be alone because you're still trying to make, you're still trying to pretty it up. What you did was you ran game, you mm -hmm. hustled, and you deceived dudes. And then you wonder why these guys get out of here and become mean and fuck boys. Because they run into women like you playing games. Okay, so what's, if I, from here what's on wrong on. with not, what's wrong with being <laughs> upfront and saying I'm not sexually attracted to you, I'm not going to go on a date with you. What's wrong with just doing that? 
nothing because sometimes you know i mean i'll just say no thank you i'm not interested i say that and some guys now, they might be mad now be, you know, now now i can't do it then. i didn't know how i didn't have the knowledge to do that okay but you did but you did know they wanted to have sex yes who doesn't i mean it's kind of like but you weren't that's the point yeah i didn't want to well, see, that's the point. See, so see, I want you guys to understand. Women know we want to have sex. They want to have sex. But see, what they do is you sit around and say, well, he accepted the date. He didn't have to do it. Would you want, if you had a son, would you want somebody to treat your son that way? No, but I will. And that's it. There's no, there's sure. no but. See, anything you say before, after, after, before but is bullshit. And here's the thing, you're still in the dating market, right? Do you want yeah. to be married one day? I want to have kids and get married, but we'll All right, see. well, the way you're coming across is your mindset is still where it was. Yeah. It's a chameleon rebel. And men, men pick up on this kind of stuff because it, it is un, it is un, you do not get, how tall are you? I'm five two. Your sons? A two. So, a woman who is cute, over 30, single, childless. It's crazy. <laughs> That's what we, because you have run across plenty of suitable men. And you've gotten to be this age and unmarried with no kids. That, and that's what men think. So, my thing is what you want, cool. How do you plan on getting what you want? Well, now I'm just putting myself out there a little bit more. To do what? Than what I was in the past. I was uh, so, at one point I just wanted to date an athlete or a basketball player or a rapper or something. I would only try to be you know in the area or go to clubs try to meet those type of people but now i'm much more open i guess people older and i don't know i don't want to say i'm settling but i'm just more open i'm more did you go to college huh? did yeah. you hold the phone steady could i you was just, cool. could you hold could you hold cal the phone state steady? LA. Uh -huh. i went to cal state la okay could you just hold the phone steady because it's moving a little could you set it down Oh. So it doesn't move. Because I don't know if you ladies hear what you hear from men. I'm here. Go ahead. Take your time. Okay. You got a book or something you can set it on? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best because you know I really didn't make sense to get on here. And I was relaxing watching TV, and I'm just so surprised. Okay, but okay. See, yeah. all right, wherever it happened to, it seemed like you just disconnected. Oh. All right, here's what me in here. There I am. Here's what me in here. I'm 36 years old. I used to run around. I used to run around and want to uh, have athletes and entertainers, and you weren't doing that just because they're great guys. It was because of their resources and their attention. All of the above. Right. So now, and then you, then, then you, then you, not even so. Man, you, you're coming across as a manipulative woman. You know men want to have sex. You're going out with men you're not sexually attracted to. Just because you had sex with one guy that you, you weren't initially sexually attracted to, y'all aren't honest. You don't enter into, into good faith, and then you get to be 36, and you say you want to have kids and all this other stuff. And here's what men are saying. All right, I need to know about her mindset. And what you're saying is I put myself out there. But well, what are you putting out there? My look. What else do they want me to put? 
it only I mean like you you could I could talk to somebody for so long and you know my brain or whatever but after a while they can't see I can't see um so anyways um I might not like them like they like me you know I might be a little more sweeter than what they thought I was I, they they might have thought I was a mean bad girl but really I'm not you know so you just never know or then I thought I met somebody that I really was interested in that was in the music industry. But come to find out, he wanted to date girls that made more money than him. I asked you, basically, what are you putting out there? And you said your look. What, what else am I supposed to look? I mean, what else am I supposed to put out there? Okay, let's go with that. How many kids do you want to have? Two, or I'll be fine with one. Can you turn off the TV or whatever? Who's that? It's a background noise. What is that? My okay. friend talking. <laughs> I want to be a part of it. Too. No. Sorry, tell me about a boyfriend. You just talking to that. I have a boyfriend, but I mean, he's a boyfriend. He not, we not married. So that means I'm still single. That's true. No, I'm I'm single. If I'm not married, I'm single. No, we not. That wasn't his, that's not your boyfriend, is it? No. All right. Do you have another room we can go into? Yes. Why don't you go? Why don't you do that? Okay. The light is on the work. Mm-hmm. All righty then. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Well, we're trying to figure that one out. Okay, there we go. All right. So yes, if you're not married, you're single. Yeah. Period. Okay. No but you married. said you want to have two kids. Yes. Uh, do you want to have two? <clears throat> work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant and married with the first child? No, that's why I never got had kids before. I'm talking about after you're married. No. Once you're married, do you want to have to work no. after? No. Okay, okay. No. Guess, <laughs> stop. Turn off your comments or whatever so you can focus on the conversation. I'm trying to have a conversation. Yeah, I'm 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 talking yeah. to you. What percent? What over? What percentage of the family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? For your two kids and your husband, what percentage of the overall family financial load? I mean, do you want your kids to be able to go to college if they want to? Yes. Do you want to be able to travel nationally and internationally with your family? Yeah, well, I already had traveled by myself, but uh, yes. Okay, if so, I would oh, husband, ma'am, I will... ma'am, 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 I, I, let me. If I, yes. I don't want to have to pay for anything if I'm okay, So you want to be a housewife? Yes. Okay. Uh, were you raised to be a wife? All my grandmas and my, my mom was That's a, wife a yes or no. Husband. That's a yes, yes or no. Yes. Your mother was a housewife? Yes. Your father died at what age? My father died when he was when 30. you were what age? When you were what oh, age? I was eleven, but my mom never married my dad. She married my stepdad. So when I was born, I first knew my stepdad before I knew my dad. How many children does your mother have? How many children? Four. Any Four. any any other any sisters? I have three sisters. They so, all have kids. Excuse me. Except me. Excuse me. It's four. Huh? It's four girls. Five, three girls, one. Boy. So your mother, so they all, but they're not married. Uh, one of my sisters is my younger but, sister. But the other ones aren't. And the ones that aren't married have children. Uh huh. So, ma'am, were they raised in the household with you? Yep. Then you weren't raised to be a housewife. I'm the oldest. I don't know. I don't. I didn't do what they did. They didn't do what I did. I I did everything separate and different. Ma'am, 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 don't get defensive. Oh, uh, I understand what you're saying. Well, do you think you're moving like a woman who's a housewife? Why not? 
That's not, no, no. You don't answer a question with a question. I ask you a question. Do you feel like you, do you think you're moving like a woman who's a housewife? Yes. I take care. I have. Is that house, house a cave? No, listen. I if have. You moving like a damn barbarian. There's no listen, ma'am. You're oh, talking no. about, you're talking about you went around, you, you were grouping for athletes. You, you, okay. you, you manipulated dudes. You got a boyfriend now. And now you want to be a housewife, and all you bring into the table is your looks. And I'm just going with it. But how much is a man going to have to pay your 36 year old self to be a housewife? How much is he going to have to make to, 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 to take care of you and two kids? Whatever it is to maintain the life. What state do you live in? I live in, I, I have two residents. I live in Texas, and I also live in Los Angeles. And I pay both my rents by myself. My boyfriend and has congratulations. I don't care yes. if you can do what adults do. I'm really doing my best, man, but you're about to make me go there. I want this to, is because, this I, is because I wanted, of your attitude. I, want to I need you to chill out. I need you to chill out. Five seconds. Okay. This is not a good this is not a good place to be in. I'm trying to have a conversation with you, but you're over here trying to cap or whatever. And I don't do that. Uh -huh. I asked you how much would a man need to make to provide for you and two children? Annually, probably about two hundred thousand. In what state? California, both in California. Ma'am, no way, no way. I just left LA. A slice of pizza, two slices of pizza and a soda is seventeen dollars. Well, where were you? No, ma'am, I was in LA. Look, ma'am, I do this for. I listen. This is part of the problem. You ladies don't know how much it costs to be a. A man in charge of stuff. Two hundred thousand dollars in L.A. No way. You want upper class children. Each one of your children is going to cost around four hundred and eighty thousand dollars to raise. That's almost a million dollars worth of kids. Plus, you don't plan on doing anything, and he has to pay all your bills, all your things, and you. And then he has what? to, have, and he has to have what he does. You're talking every bit about four hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. That's why you're. That's why you're talking about athletes and musicians and all that other kind of stuff. And that's cool. And what percentage of men make that kind of money? Maybe ten, fifteen. I don't know that much. Do you well, care if he's Cal black? Do you care if he's black or not? In California. Do you care if he's black or not? Uh. Yeah, I want him to be black. Uh huh. So what percentage of black men, what percentage of black men make, what, see when I'm talking, that means okay. you stop. That's the only one rule. Can can we agree to that, please? Yes. Yes. Because it's disrespectful. What percentage of black men earn over four hundred thousand dollars? You say ten, fifteen percent? Maybe thirty. And where'd you go to college? Cal State LA. Mm -hmm. Would you be surprised to find out that 10% uh, of American males earn $100,000 or more? 10% make $100,000 or more. When you're talking about making $250,000 or more, that's 3%. Making $400,000, you're talking about 1% of American men. And when you talk about black men, it's roughly about 10%, half of a half of 1%. So if I had 100 black men, you're talking about one in that room. And let me ask you this, that one man can meet your socioeconomic standards, right? Which are pretty high. That means he could meet a lot of women. Why would he choose you over the thousands of other women who are coming at him? Because I'm natural. And I am willing to work. I have been working if I needed to. And I, I don't have any kids. And I'm cute. And I'm willing to able to do what I need to do as a wife or mother. What more would he want? I don't, you know, I'm not fat. I got a degree. It's not a master's, but it's something. So you think a man goes out here and makes himself a top 1% man. And a jerk, that's that's like an athlete. And to 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 win at that level, you what do you get know. if you win? What do you get when you win a championship? A ring. Or 
what is it commonly Athletes. what is it commonly known as a trophy right yes are you a trophy wife i can be i didn't ask can you You're, are you a trophy wife definitely i am uh-huh what would you rank yourself just your face fresh face out of the shower well i'm after. fresh right now so i'll say like an eight an eight so you put yourself up there with beyonce yeah Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit younger than Beyonce, and I still look like I'm in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, again, you're Monique, you think that a man, just because you're natural and you're cute, what else could he want? All right, and I, mean, I have a bachelor. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Okay. So, do you plan on homeschooling your children? No. Uh, yes, I, pri I don't private plan school? On private school? School or public school? Probably private. Okay. So do you plan on having a housekeeper? Definitely. A maid? I have one now. <laughs> so so uh you're gonna have someone else to, to help prepare for prepare meals too? No, I cook really well. Okay. So in other words, all you're going to do is incubate a child. <laughs> No. <laughs> you make that sound so funny. Well, you were famous before you are now. <laughs> you said she belongs to the street. Look, it, I, I waited so long to be able to have kids and to do everything. I always wanted to really do everything right. So that's why I never. Why are you? What kind of what kind of professions would a man need to have in order to make four hundred thousand dollars or more legally? Maybe a lawyer. Um, I dated a few lawyer people before. Uh, lawyer people. I don't know a professional and. No, 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 no. I want specifics. You're thirty. I'm a sport. You're you're closer to forty than you are to thirty. I need you to look more specific. You said a lawyer. You dated lawyer people. Okay, good. You dated lawyer people. A what few. other kind? Okay. Um, I dated. Um, what? No, 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 no. I asked you what kind of professions. We got. We got a, a we got, teacher, a lawyer. Excuse me. What kind of? What kind of teacher? What kind of teacher was he? Uh, an English teacher. At what level? High school. High school English teachers make almost a half a million dollars a year. Do they? Probably, I don't know. I, I didn't seem like that much, but yeah, they were. I mean, they weren't poor. They have a nice car. If they know if they make, depending on what district they're in or mm -hmm. what city, then yeah. So, to, so I want you to understand. So, the, so the people at the local high school are making four hundred thousand on a teaching certificate. Well, I mean, it depends on where you say local. You mean local? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What else, man? Okay, 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 man. Okay, okay. Teachers. Then what else? Lawyers and teachers. What else? Um, regular working people, people that own. No, no, no. Professions. Stores. Professions, ma'am. I'm asking. This is just. It's not a trick question. You want a man that's earning this kind of money? You should at least be able to understand what he should do for a living. I dated people that. I didn't ask businesses. who you dated. I asked you what kind what? of professions. Cannabis. Cannabis is not a profession. Cannabis is a rapper, but it's not a profession. I'm talking about the, in the medical marijuana um, industry, mm -hmm. like, but big though. Okay. Like, what else? Really what else? And who else have I dated? I have, ma'am, ma'am, please. Athletes. Uh, ma'am, I need you to look for. I need you. See, he's talking again, and I'm with. I asked you what professions. I'm not asking you who you dated. I'm simply asking you, of the wide world out there, what kind of professions would a man need to have to make $400,000 or more legally? At 36 years old and a college graduate, you should be able to focus and answer that question. Um, uh, probably a barber that works on set. You know, you, it's just different. It just depends on what level you own of your profession. Period. You could be a barber and you could 
a barber off. Her so, so I want you guys to understand. I want you to understand, ma'am. Ma'am, do not over talk me. The fuck is wrong with you? I'm asking you that so many times. I want you. Okay, I'm answering the question. You get it, man. You cannot over talk me. Okay, I'm listening now. Ma'am, you're talking about lawyers, teachers, cannabis, and a barber. Only one of those has the potential of really doing that consistently. And that's only some sort of attorneys. And my point is, ma'am, if you can't identify the professions that a man must have, how are you going to identify which men you need to put yourself in front of? Since you said you're putting yourself out there more. You can't even tell us what professions. I just did. No, you really didn't. Because in the comment section, you don't see all these hearts going up. I don't see anything. Well, you, I don't well, see, I'm I in don't the see comment section comments. when this video is over. And you oh. hear people talking about a teacher or a barber making $400,000. They're not going to be very kind. Please, ma'am, stop. I'm trying to help you. Stop. Okay. They're not going to be very kind because it sounds crazy. And at the no, end, you, of, and I, you I, no, 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 I, I, I will shut this shit down and finish it on my own. I don't need you've already fucked yourself up enough. I'm trying to help you dig your way out, but if you really want me to, I'll finish it on my own. Maybe you're 36 years old. I'm talking about you're you talking know. about what, and all you're talking about is you bring your cute self to the table. That's a just reward. That's a just trophy. And you're going to have kids in private school and a housekeeper. Yeah. Do you earn over six figures? Definitely. What's your profession? Right now, I'm a stripper. I dance all over. I go state to state. Because you know why? There you go, people. I was, I was working as a... There you uh, go. I was working there you go, people. I knew I knew I knew 15 minutes ago what I was talking to and it's not about being a dancer I, I've worked in I, I, I uh, did business at clubs I like strippers and this book, but it's about a mindset you ain't learned nothing Why you ain't learned nothing because you're still talking like you on the pole you're still talking like a 19 year old girl you ain't talk. You don't even know the professions. You've been in these places. You dance and you got money. You haven't even been able to identify your targets appropriately. Low class, low rent, low rank. Get out of here. A four hundred thousand dollar a year man, and that's all he is. What else could he want? Like I say, shout out to the dancers. There's nothing on this calendar for the next 30 days. If you go to dance, at least learn the game. At least learn how. You're almost 40 years old talking about barbers making almost a half a million dollars a year. Regular ass high school teachers. Now, if anybody thinks I was hard on this woman, remember, she's a manipulator of men. She deceives men. She's a groupie, self-admitted that she runs out the athletes, entertainers, musicians, hustling men over here who are normal guys, playing games with guys like that. And if you think that's not bad enough, she had a guy in the house and said, tell him you got a boyfriend. This woman talking about she want to be married and she on here talking about she got a boyfriend. And this is what's out here amongst she belongs to the streets. This is what men have to pick from. And I want you let I want you ladies to think I'm hard on women to understand. This woman felt like she'd be settling for an average man. I didn't even have to go down that far. Insane. You cannot make this shit up. Welcome to World Star. And the, and the sad part is, women like her really have been told that they are that they are just the shit. That you are the prize. And any man would be lucky to have you. And what is it? And, and again, what do you bring to the table? My vagina. <laughs>